What's going Loki? Who's that guy? David. It's the legend. The man with the iron leg. Alright, we're at uh, Chiang Mai Bok Had Park. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they need a better name for this park. What would you recommend? Uh, anything that I can say. Because every time I get uh, Song Tao, I'm like, Bok Had. Like, sounds like perfect to me. But uh, <laughs> they, they never understand. No, they don't understand me either. Bok, bok Had. Huh? I think, the bok tri hard. I think the trick is in the Bok. Wak hat. So, this, this is where it all started for me. I got some vlogs when I first got to Chiang Mai. I came to this park like right away and I was like, oh my god, there's like nature. I just came from Bangkok. And uh, it's like the first time I had nature in Thailand. And then, um, this is the first time I'm placed, I met Loki as well. Not at this park, but here in Chiang Mai. But a year ago? Uh, yeah, January. January. Can't believe it's a year. This year's been Whoa. crazy. Thailand gone, Thailand again. Wow. Same, same for you. Yeah, so almost a year now. Uh huh. And uh, nothing's changed, huh? Same old, same old. <laughs> it's funny. It made me think a lot about um, what changes and what stays the same, and and how change is okay. It's like I don't know. The first time we were in Thailand, we did a lot of things, and we, you and I at least, have done almost none of those same things this time. Oh, no, right? exactly. And I can tell that I'm not the same person anymore, and I can tell that you're not the same person anymore. But it's but it's fine. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? The, 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 the soul energy is the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. The energy is the same, but just like the manifestation of the energy has changed. The, uh, the outer world has changed, but the same, the same personality is there. Same vibes. Now, conversation topic for this quick walk and talk is uh, your thoughts on Chiang Mai being the reason so many people are here, so many vegans are here, raw vegans specifically. Why do so many vegans and raw vegans come to Chiang Mai, Thailand? I think it's kind of a, a sweet spot of, um, obviously it's tropical, you've got fresh ripe fruit on, on tap basically, um, but that's, that's not enough for most normal people, you know, well, normal, normal. you're just your average run-of-the-mill fruitarian, you know, <laughs> garden variety, uh, but it's, um, <clears throat> now there's, there's a community here, I mean, as I understand it, when, when you first got here, maybe there was less. Uh, there were less fruitarian for sure dude here. for sure less and it's amazing how quickly um community grows and then Damn. again this year since i was first here i mean just look at the fruit luck today yeah it's it's huge even since it kind of and this is just some random sunday meetup yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not yeah it's, this isn't even like a big event and there's yeah. like fucking 25 people here 20 people here to wait until next month when it's the uh fruit winter be even bigger yeah there's hundreds of people but uh i think maybe i don't know six weeks ago they started Make it a regular thing again, and in those six weeks, it's grown every single time, and it's well, yeah, it's huge today. So, yeah, community is definitely part of it, but I mean, it's also a really livable city. Super isn't livable, it? isn't it? You know, yeah, everything's even, nice and close together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they've got everything. Uh, I mean, compare it to even just somewhere else in Thailand, like Phuket, like completely different experience. And lots of people go to Phuket, but most of the people want to go there and get get wasted yeah. um, on the beach or whatever. But here. You know, there's, there's no beach, it attracts a different kind of person. Um, a lot of people in it for the long term, you know, like yeah. a lot of digital nomads, whether they're into the vegan scene or not. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of brought about everything you need. Like, um, I don't know, I'm into music as well as raw foods. I brought my guitar with me. I couldn't believe they've got like rehearsal studios here. You know, recording studios, it's everything. Big karaoke scene. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can imagine like everywhere in, uh, in Asia probably. But uh, yeah, they, that's just one example that they've got everything you need. Uh, I think uh, Joe Best was saying, you know, someone was saying the other day about, um, you know, a place where they print t-shirts, you know, right. these t-shirts. Like, everything you printing. need, yep. it's like, it's here. Gyms galore, man. Uh -huh. Massage places galore, Net internet cafes galore, uh -huh. co-working spaces galore. Yeah, a couple of really good ones now, yeah. Um, beautiful tourist hotspots too, like just attractions. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Things people want to go do and see, like the caves or the zip lining or and the uh, village with the long, long neck necks, people yeah, and the elephant sanctuary, the orchid, orchid garden, like all sorts of attractions. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as, as you were uh, uh, talking about at the start of this conversation, like fruit on tap, when it comes to the fruit, the fruit here is like abundant, it's like it's everywhere, like it's here. We can go walk into any place here and buy some fruit. We just walked by a bunch of bananas actually, just back there. So, fruit everywhere, mm -hmm. it tastes good, absolutely, and it's affordable. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's like those three combos. It's like that's 
your diet is is done there. That's good. Con convenience and, factor. And if you're not into pure fruit, there's like, dude, rice is so cheap. You can live on like 50 cents a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For rice. Or you can eat rice three times a day and everyone looks at you fine. Totally. Like, you do that back home, they're like, what's going yeah. on with this guy? Is everything all right at home? Like, <laughs> you see me eating rice no, three don't, meals man. a day. Here, it's completely acceptable. Um, it's it's encouraged, That's actually. something I remember from back home, actually. We've got quite a big Jamaican community in Bristol, in the UK where I'm from. And whenever I'd be walking down the street, kind of just eating a giant watermelon like this, like, all of the all of the white people would be like, what the... And every time you walk past a Jamaican person, he'd be like, yeah, man. Fuck yeah, This dude. guy knows what's up. That's it. So here in Thailand, you can <laughs> sit down and have a big fruit meet up here at the park, like we're doing. And uh -huh. no one thinks it's weird. It's just like, well, obviously, what else would they be doing at the park? Um, and it's just, and the reason I loved it too, especially last year, came for triathlon. It's such a big fitness scene here, man. Like we're walking by this park here. Everyone's got a bike. Everyone's like working uh -huh. out on the on the equipment here. Yeah, it's pull up down. bars. It's like stationary bikes here at the park. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Like bench presses, chest yeah. presses. You want to do like calisthenics or calisthenic? Like yeah, super big calisthenic culture. Uh huh. Um, and then and then just. Uh, all that stuff, if you came here alone, it wouldn't be the same. You'd have all those resources, but it wouldn't be the same. But it's epic because everyone's here experiencing it together. Mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. a year-round festival. Mm -hmm. It's a year-round festival. And accommodation's cheap, too. Oh, absolutely. Like how, much, how much is the average accommodation, would you say, like? How many in the U.S.? In, uh, oh, um, well, I mean, the, the hostel I'm staying in tonight, well, not in hostel, kind of guest house I'm staying in for my last night to be nearer the airport tonight is 200 baht, which is like, Five pounds. So what is that now? Like seven or eight dollars now. Seven the pound's bucks. gone. Eh, eh. Seven bucks. Uh, so that's that's like uh, you can get things as cheap as that. Um, Cheaper. It's like six bucks US. Two hundred baht. Six six bucks. Okay, six bucks. Um, and that's just like one night for my convenience where I want to be. Uh, I mean, if you're paying for an apartment monthly, it can get. Um, yeah, but you can get a lot more for that price, or you even get it cheaper depending on whether you're in the old city or not. But Regardless, it's so much cheaper than back home. Uh, yeah, at least for me. I mean, in most Western countries, it comes at a premium. You know, um, somewhere, somewhere to live. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, no so that doubt, makes a man. massive difference. And it's the, the sense of freedom that comes from that. Uh, there's a guy that uh, I chat to sometimes at the juice bar. Kunke juice bar. Small plug. Um, he was saying that he did the the loop, which is like out to Pai on the on the bicycle and uh, some other way back. And uh, Pai to Chiang Mai. Well, here to Pai and then some, you're all the way around. Uh, and, and him and his friend, they just took the bikes, didn't book anything, just stopped when they wanted to at a guest house, paid, mm. you know, 300 baht or whatever for, for a room together. Um, comparing that to when I was cycling through France, it's like everything was meticulously planned. Had to book yeah, all no of my, doubt, Air, my Airbnbs in no advance. Doubt. Had to pay through the nose for each one of those Airbnbs, and it was like and that's, creepy places. That's too. an important thing to note because I get messages like weekly, people saying, "Hey, I'm going to be in Chiang Mai in a few days or a few months. Where can I book a place to stay?" And I'm like, "Book it when you get here. Just turn up. Just show up." I said, yeah. "Just show up." Three yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. Just show up. Um, places are always available. If uh -huh. one place is not available for whatever reason. Go to the, the literally, literally walk outside, take 14 steps, walk up the door, and you'll be in luck. Yeah, absolutely. So here's some of the examples we're talking about, the machines. Things are everywhere at the park. All sorts of them. Um, deadlift, get your deadlift on. It's amazing, but you'd never see this in like America or Canada. These things will be gone that night. Someone yeah, would just yeah. take them. And that's another beautiful thing about Thailand is they really respect property. There's very little vandalism here. There's very little theft. Um, if there is theft, it's probably from a, 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 tour, a, a tourist from yeah, yeah. Canada, America, Europe, whatever. Especially um, Canada. Especially Canadians, man. Those, pes watch. those pesky Canadians. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just really friendly people too, eh? Like you're going up to Oysu Tap and people are just waving, Swati Club, Swati Club. Yeah, Swati Club. absolutely. Swati Club. Really different, really. They kind of, they really respect your right to exist. Whether you're, you're, you're big, small, going slow, fast. Lady boy. Lady boy, regular boy, regular <laughs> regular lady. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely different, definitely definitely different, and it rubs off on you, you know. Yeah. Like I'm more chilled out and uh, open than I was the first time I got here. Kind of have to be to fit in. Everyone's mm -hmm. just so happy. Mm -hmm. It's like you have no reason to be upset, man. Yeah. Back home, if someone was like smiling away, like a Thai person, uh, they'd be like, "What's wrong with this? Yeah. They've, they're on something." You know, here it's probably the other way around. If you've got like a screwed up face and uh, angry for no reason, 
they're gonna think uh, something wrong with you, and that's probably right. Uh, you don't hear any horns here, really, right? They're no, really respectful. No, no. no, no honking. Even if there's a cyclist on the road or something, <laughs> they respect cyclists. Um, whereas in other Asian countries, like Bali, is honk galore. Really? Panama honk galore. No, it's not Asian, but honk, 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 honk every green light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but anyways, guys, check it out. There's a good amount of vegans here. Got any words to uh, sing us out, David? <laughs> what are you gonna say, David? <laughs> Raw power. Raw power. Yeah. Raw power. Sounds good to me. You want me to sing something? <laughs> that would be even better. I See can you. do uh, acapella karaoke. <laughs> Go for it. <clears throat> You have any requests? More entertaining than anything I've you got, said. You got a 30 second gig here, Ti three seconds in. Uh, Backstreet's Back. Oh man, my Where is it? Backstreet's Back. I know that's Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. That's musical. Loki, give me one. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's your favorite song, David? I guess uh, one of them would be... Uh, <clears throat> Try a little help for my friends by the Beatles. Let's hear the first, oh, let's hear the chorus. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> let's hear the chorus, here we go. What would you do if I sang out a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song And I'll try not to sing out a key Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends Oh, I get high with a little help from my friends Yes, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends Yes! What would you do if Good job! What would you do when your love is away? Does it worry you to be alone? How does it feel by the end of the day? 